Are you looking to get your email into ClickUp? If so, this is the video for you. In this video, I wanna share with you a couple ways that I use my email and get it inside of ClickUp. There's some automations that can help make this a breeze as well as some manual things that you might wanna use from time to time. So with that said, let's get into it. Hey, I'm Adam with Productivity Academy, and like I said, we're going to get into this as far as using uh, email into ClickUp. Uh, again, this is going to be email to ClickUp, not uh, ClickUp sending email. So um, let's take a look at a couple different ways you might want to do this. So I've set up kind of a test uh, space and folder here, and I'm going to move myself up over here, and we can see that we have a space. Within that, we have a folder, and within that, you have a list. And the reason I've set it up this way is because list um, or things sub folder below the folder you can start to email into so for example if we go into the list settings here or if we did that over here you can click as well and we can go into this and say email to list okay so now we can click this and copy it all right and we can send in an email to that so let's do that from the productivity academy we are going to send that in and we're going to say this is a good test task emailing in here is the body of the email so let's check out where this all appears so we're going to send that in and we're going to head back over and while we do that we're going to talk about a different way that we can do this so we've sent it in to this list which is within a folder um, now what we could also do is not only create a task which that should do when we send it in there we go we just see it coming in now in the open which is the first status that is in this um, space or in this case the list it could be different um, but here we go so let's click it open it up and we see that here's the email it came from here is the body of the email and obviously the um, subject line was the um, title so we can go down and we see the attachment if we want to open up the original we can see all of that pretty simple pretty plain but you would see the original if you had that in there now what else we could do is perhaps you have a task that you want to email something into then we can actually go into the task not the list or the collection of tasks and we can send an email directly to the task so let's try that and get that going so let's go in here and we are going to again send to that email address here is let's say here is a test task email this is the body of the email I'm going to make this a little bit more clear going to a task not a list and we will send that in and we should see that in there in a minute so again we are now just dealing with manual sending um, but already you should hopefully be able to be thinking like hey there might be a way to automate this like if I wanted um, to set up a um, uh, if somebody emails and it matches a certain filter in Gmail or whatever email service you're using you could have it auto forward to that email address and then you could have maybe that going into a specific list um, you know whether it's client information um, it's things you want to keep an eye of its uh, team interactions there's a lot that you can do so let's go in here now uh, we see the test task we see an attachment here we go so in the activity we can see that um, there was a comment sent via email from Adam at Productivity Academy. Uh, view as an email, download the original. Here is the body of the email. And if we click on this, we can view as an email. And this is basically the, what we saw before, about the same. Okay, so those are uh, two interesting ways to do this. There is something else I want to show you, though, um, and I set up something called a personal list here, okay? Now, something I think is really neat that you can do is combining this uh, ability to email in tasks with some automation. So, for example, something that I do is I have a new starred email, and that creates a task in ClickUp. Okay, so what I mean by that is if I go in here and I star something, then automatically, right, it takes a couple minutes to work its way through Zapier. It's going to check every two minutes. So at the, um, you know, it's going to take at least two minutes for this to happen. Um, and once it goes through, it will show up 
in this personal list. I don't have it connected to this test account. I have it tested up to a personal list um, in my own space, uh, but this is really handy. So if you want to quickly go through your inbox and not get kind of sucked into like dealing with all the emails right there, that's a great way to do it. Or if you see an email um, and you're like me and you don't wanna leave a bunch of unread emails, you can star it. Boom, okay, I know what it's about. I know I need to deal with it. And it's a quick triage in the morning. And then when I go into ClickUp and do kind of my morning clear out of tasks, uh, of team management, and then all of the emails that I know I need to respond to are there. And even better, I can have the URL directly to the email as part of that in this zap. If you go in here and we look, we can see we have the URL as a link as part of this. Okay, so that is really handy to have. Again, it takes you, if you're in the browser, directly into your email, directly to that email, so that you're not clicking around, getting distracted by other things. So some really great ways uh, to send in and use email into ClickUp. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any comments, leave it below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.